is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Tots Wrestling and today I am bringing you my WWE Survivor Series 2019 predictions. Let's get right into it. Okay, so the first matchup we have is a triple threat match between Roderick Strong, the NXT North American Champion, Shinsuke Nakamura, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, and AJ Styles, the WWE United States Champion. I am going with Roderick Strong to pick up the win here um, and essentially uh, I don't know how it will be done. Maybe a Kinshasa or a Phenomenal Forearm. I believe that AJ should take the pin because uh, obviously he's strong as hell. Uh, if Shinsuke takes the pin then it's sort of just, you know, Shinsuke always takes the pin. So give Roderick a really cool win. Uh, we want to see Roddy Strong pick up the W over AJ Styles. Moving on. Next up is the Triple Threat Tag Team match between the Raw Tag Team Champions, the Viking Raiders, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the New Day, and finally, the NXT Tag Team Champions, the Undisputed Era. I am going with Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly to pick up the win here, um, and basically, I think New Day should take the pin. I know they are fresh off a championship win, however, Kyle O'Reilly and Roderick Strong um, should... Actually, I don't know here. It could sort of, I don't. I don't really don't mind as long as Kyle O'Reilly and Roderick Strong of Undisputed Era pick up the win. That's who I'm going with. Okay, so this next match isn't on WWE's official uh, website for the Survivor Series match card. However, it was the original stipulation, and there's no way Adam Cole isn't going to be on NXT uh, on NXT on Survivor Series. Sorry. Obviously, we had the number one contendership match at TakeOver, um, which, to, as of the time of this recording, hasn't taken place yet, but I did predict Pete Dunne. Um, so, it, just in this case, if it was Cole versus Pete Dunne, if it was Cole versus Damian Priest, if it was Cole versus Killian Dane, the result will be the same. Adam Cole will be retaining the NXT Championship. Moving on. Next up is the men's traditional Survivor Series tag team match. On Team Raw, we have Seth Rollins, Randy Orton, Kevin Owens, Ricochet, and Drew McIntyre. Very, very good team right there. Team SmackDown, King Corbin, Roman Reigns, Braun Strowman, Mustafa Ali, and Shorty G. And we are still yet to know who is on Team NXT. However, I will make a very bold prediction right now. I am predicting Triple H to be the captain of Team NXT. And I believe that they are going to win. I think the Team NXT are going to win this match. Um, I don't believe... Hmm, that's the thing. I'm trying to think who can possibly be on Team NXT. Um, mainly because half of the big NXT stars are competing. Maybe guys like Tommaso Ciampa, Matt Riddle, Keith Lee, etc. Um, and yeah, I'm going with Team NXT to win. You guys may have started to uh, pick up a pattern here. Next up is the Women's Tag Team Survivor Series traditional match. And we have Team Raw, Charlotte Flair, Natalia, Asuka, Kairi Sane and Sarah Logan. A bit meh. Um, you know, only standout names there are probably Charlotte and Asuka. They're probably the two most dominant on the team. The rest are sort of just mid-card ladies. Uh, Smackdown, Sasha Banks, Lacey Evans, Carmella, Dana Brooke and Nikki Cross. Um, they're definitely not winning. And NXT, once again, to be announced. So I believe that Team NXT are going to win here as well. I believe that um, people like Bianca Belair, um, maybe Dakota Kai, Io Shirai, they're going to be on this team and uh, they are just going to whoop the uh, the women's on the women's team of Raw and SmackDown. Moving on. Next up is the women's triple threat match between the Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch, the SmackDown Women's Champion Karen, I mean Bailey, and the NXT Women's Champion Shayna Baszler. Now, who on earth would bet against Baszler? I've always said this: never bet against Baszler. Um, Baszler will be winning. I believe that Shayna Baszler is picking up the W, um, and I reckon she's going to put Becky Lynch to sleep. If I am honest with you, maybe Bailey, you know, has done the Bailey to Belly beforehand, but Becky has been booked so strongly, so strongly through this whole year, and it will give such a good rub on Shayna Baszler if she can put the man to sleep. So that's what I'm hoping for. Shayna, I'm going with you. Team NXT for the win. <laughs> Next up, we have The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, defending the WWE 
Blue Universal Championship against Daniel Bryan. Now, this match has been pretty rushed together, I can't lie. Um, Bray the Fiend attacked Bryan backstage a few weeks ago on SmackDown, um, uh, just after he won the title, I believe. Uh, we had a segment on Miz TV and Firefly Funhouse last week. Obviously, Bray unveiled the new uh, Disgusting Blue Universal Championship, and that's what it's for. And realistically, a bit like don't ever bet against Baszler, there is no way in hell that Bray is not retaining. Um, I saw a really cool theory on Instagram. I don't know who it was by, but uh, it was awesome and it really worked. It said Bray uh, could potentially be targeting previous targets uh, that he has lost to in the past. So obviously Finn Balor, Seth Rollins, Daniel Bryan right now. Uh, next up could be The Undertaker, Roman Reigns. You know, the, the list goes on and on of people that have beaten him. John Cena to be, uh, to be his first one. And I believe that The Fiend is going to squash Daniel Bryan. Um, it's, hopefully Bryan doesn't get as much offense in as Seth did because Seth got way too much offense in, in, my, in my opinion, uh, even though Bray no sold it all. But I believe The Fiend is 100% winning. On to the next. And finally, what I can only imagine will be the main event of Survivor Series, Brock Lesnar versus Ronald Mysterious. Shout out to Cultaholic Rey Mysterio in a no disqualification match for the WWE Championship. Uh, obviously, this feud has been going a while now, uh, ever since Brock attacked Dominic uh, on Raw, essentially. Also, the whole Cain Velasquez stuff at Crown Jewel. Um, and... I don't think there's a chance that Rey Mysterio is going to win here. Don't get me wrong, there is nothing more that I would love on this show for it to close out with Rey Mysterio holding the WWE Championship above his head. He should have held that championship way longer than he did and much, much more than he did. Uh, he's had one reign and it lasted less than a night because John Cena beat him straight away. And Rey Mysterio deserves another WWE Championship, so there's nothing I'd love more than for him to have it right here. But I believe it's unrealistic, and I don't believe it's going to happen. I'm going with Brock Lesnar. So, other than the last two matches, you guys can probably see a pattern here. I am picking NXT to do a complete, clean sweep with the main roster. I think they are absolutely going to destroy them. They're the third brand. They're, com they're constantly getting competition with AEW. And I believe that Triple H, obviously, if he's booking the show, I believe he's going to have NXT go over completely. And I have got no issue with that whatsoever. Why not? Put the main roster on notice. I mean, it's time. We're the third brand now. We're not developmental anymore. So put them on notice. I think it's going to be awesome. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for more wrestling content. Like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.